Hey guys, so today I have four super easy like blingy gem nail designs for short nails but you can obviously use them for like long nails too. And I'm going to be using Sally Hansen Big Matte Top Coat to stick on the gems but you can also use nail glue but I didn't want the gems to like stick on my nail for that long. Does that make sense? Yeah. Also, it doesn't matter if you use like a glossy top coat or a matte top coat, they're all going to work the same. Okay, so once your top coat is like almost dry, not like completely dry, but like almost, you can start putting your gems on. And I'm just using some tweezers to do this. You can also use like a gem picker upper thingy. I don't know what they're called, but they're something like that. Yeah. I will put some links down below in the description box of what I'm talking about. But after you put the gem on, you're going to push it down a little bit. That makes it like more secure on the nail. And if you're using nail glue, you just have to place it on top of the glue and then it'll be like stuck on. If your top coat dries too fast, all you have to do is take some top coat and put it on like a toothpick and place it where you want the gems to be like I'm doing right here. Oh, and by the way, all of the charms, or not charms, gems, all of the gems I'm using are from Daily Charm, and I will put their website down below in the description box. And I know like a lot of the places where I get nail gems from, they're all online, but if you don't feel like waiting for shipping, you can get them from Michael's Craft Store. They have like similar gems that you can use for your nails. Okay, so here is the first bling design, and it's just so sparkly, like, yes. And I know I have said this in multiple videos, but do not put a top coat over the gems because then you'll just like mess them up. They won't be as sparkly and they'll just look dull and like blah. So for the second design, I'm doing a gradient, but with gems. And basically to do this, you're just going to put more gems on the bottom of the nail and then less as you go up the nail. And that's about it. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but in the top right corner, I kind of pushed the gem like too hard into my nail, so it made the polish smudge. So basically, don't do what I did there and you'll be good. Also, this is kind of a side note. I mean, like not really, but anyways, I did cut off all of my nails for this tutorial and for future tutorials because... I don't really find like that many short nail tutorials out there so I'm going to keep my nails short for a little bit so I can make some for you guys. Here is the finished second look and again, yes! I actually meant for these to be like accent nails but if you want to put these on all of your nails then go for it, why not? For the third look I wanted to do something kind of plain, well not plain but more like simple because like I know the other two were a little like, boom, like in your face, but this one, I mean, it's still cute. It looks like a ring or something like that. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but it looks like a ring. For the last design, I just did a triangle shape on the bottom of my nail. Honestly, there are so many ways to put gems on your nails. These are just a few ways, and it doesn't matter if your nails are short or if they're long, you can work with it. Like... Since my nails are shorter, I just have to use a variety of sizes and like you have to get some of the really tiny ones so you can like fit them on your nail. But really you can cover your whole nail with gems or you can just put one or two gems on there. It's really up to you. I definitely have to say though, out of all of these, that first design was my favorite. Like, oh my gosh, yes. 